guys, welcome to another video. Hope you're all having a good day and stuff. Nice big boat. <laughs> Just on a chill ride, pretty much back home. I've got to do a couple of things on the way back. But, I thought I'd do a video on the way. I thought I'd talk about my next bike. Because obviously, as most of you know, I've passed my test about two weeks ago as of making this video. Fucking idiot, man. Len, put your indicator on. To suddenly shoot off to the side, man. That's why you keep your distance from cars and traffic. You never know when one of them's going to do something stupid. But yeah, I really can't wait to get a bigger bike. I really want to get something in the 600, 650 class non-sports bike, naked, maybe sports tourer, anything of, of that type will be good. I'm going to go back this way, I think, actually. Get off the main road, go down some more little country road. Yeah, there's quite a few in mind, but it depends on price, really, because I might have to get something totally unexpected, something older than I really want. But I'll sort of like shout off a few what I'm looking for. I'll shout off a few that I'm looking into possibly getting. If I can save enough money, I'd be looking at something like the XJ6, either the M or the F. The S as well, possibly, but I don't really like the half-fed versions of bikes on sports tourer types and stuff. I'd rather have full fairing or naked. So the XJ6M is the naked, obviously, and the XJ6F is the full fed version, which I think looks quite a lot nicer than the S. So that's one possibility. Another possibility, which you will then have the same sort of options, is the older version of the Suzuki SV60 and get the naked version on the SV60S which is the sports version but I think that's still more sports tour I don't think that's a full on sports sort of stance or anything wouldn't mind an old bandit as well which is the is it the CBF 600 I think that's right and something that's really catching my eye at the minute because I like the looks of them and a nice naked bike as well but also what is most appealing to that is that it has more torque and power than the CBF and the SV650 and I think the XJ6 as well is the, um, let me see if I can remember this right GSR 600 the Suzuki GSR 600 or the is it a Yamaha FZ6 both of them are really nice looking naked bikes but they've also got that extra bit of power and torque which would be nice and I'll take it real easy to start with anyway so I'll soon get used to it and stuff but that would be nice just to have that so it's there for a bit of play and because of the way they're set up they're still like the mid-range 650s for their 600s that they have a more torque through the rev range and a little less power than the sports bikes obviously I think that'd be really nice for a possible next bike there are a few others on the list what I can't think of right now at the top of my head but that's the type of bike the sort of class I'm looking for the only problem with that is a lot of them, even for like 10 year old bikes, they're still going for like two and a half to three thousand pounds or just over. And to save that sort of money, even if I sold this bike, which I'm not sure how much I'd get for, even if I sold this bike, it'll still take me a year plus, a year and a half or so to save that sort of money. So. And that's really trying hard to save and not touch the money 
but there's always things trying to take your money like as soon as I passed my test I now got the tax which I just paid for this I've got the insurance which is now coming up which I'm gonna pay for it in a couple of weeks so that'll take all the savings I've got so far pretty much away so there's always something that's gonna try and take your money when you get into a position where you got a bit more than usual because obviously I was paying quite a bit out for the lessons and tests recently so now that's all over with I can start saving a bit more but no doubt there's someone going to come and try and take my money so yeah that's the type of bike I'm sort of looking at going for it could help me out a bit to save up for a bike I'm not going to ask you to give me all your money although that would be nice if you're rich send me all your money or well, at least half of it. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. No, one way you can help me out is just every now and then when you're not busy or something, you've got your computer on but you've got things to do around the house, just stick my playlist on of all my videos and just let it play out. You don't have to sit there watching it unless you want to. That'll just help get a little bit of revenue in my AdSense. YouTube payment thingy because I haven't earned anything off that yet well, well I've got up to about 30 quid I think it is now in a, almost a whole year <laughs> so if you did that maybe that would help out and just bump that up a little bit and by the time I am ready to get a bike I might be able to actually withdraw some money because you can't withdraw money until you've got a certain amount from it anyway Let's see if we can creep through. You have to have about 60, 70 quid in there before you can even take anything out. Yeah, so that's a possibility. If you can do that, that would be awesome. If you can just watch my videos every now and then, even if, like I say, you don't sit there and actually watch them, just so look, get a little bit of ad revenue from the adverts running through, you know. That'd be awesome just to help me out a little bit like that, so. And if you know anyone on your social media networks and that, that like motorbikes and might want to check out my videos and that, just share my videos on your social networks, on your Facebooks, your Twitters and all that sort of thing, that'd be awesome. And then hopefully that will help just get a little extra money towards the lease things like insurance and tax the tax obviously is quite a bit more on a bigger bike as well I think on a 600 that's about 80 odd quid rather than 18 quid what this is and obviously the insurance will go up a bit and I'll have to pay the extra for that I'll have to try and figure some other ways to make a bit of money maybe <laughs> nothing off, off the top of my head right now I can think of but obviously I don't work I'm on benefits I only get a small amount each week really so it's hard to save up anyway but I should be able to save a little bit each month and end up getting a decent amount together after a year or so but I would like to get one in about six to eight months but there's just no saying when that would be possible so if there's anything you can think of to help me out any video ideas even to get more videos out that'd be nice <laughs> but anyway I think I've said enough about that for now anyway for what I can think of right now I'll talk a bit about the bikes I'd like definitely want to go for that sort of class like I say so we'll, we'll just see how it goes over the next year or two <laughs> no. anyway thanks for watching anyway thanks for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you again in the next video me and my man Capadre, black and white white and ivory and black ebony they can't step to me weaponry is heavenly they can't see us in the 313 vicinity. Hey, yo, M. Ha, 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 ha. Ha ha, I come in like ha ha, I'm here like nah nah And y'all don't wanna see me cause I'm ill with the skill